All right, guys, we have this uh, EV high voltage battery. You need to drill out two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen wee bit, and underneath there are some nuts. All this yellow. Right now, we're going to deal with this uh, wee bit thing. Tini. We call it wee bit tini. It's a high voltage. Easy to remove, guys. This is aluminum. I got this high voltage high voltage club here but we're still safe because we're still on the cover nothing to worry guys all right you're gonna deal all that bolt here Right, guys, after you remove all the uh, uh, big solid aluminum plate all over, right there. Now, let's do a little fry on the sealant and then we can open it up. Alright, guys. I'm just trying to, you know, moment of truth, guys. I have the high voltage to remove the cover for safety because we're gonna open the high voltage guys you can see these gloves is to just using the spatula we call it spatula
Alright, guys, how beautiful it is. That's the battery, guys. Successful. See how beautiful it is. Trying to clean the ceiling. You want to see how beautiful it is, guys? That's where the BMS. The BMS is the one who's giving you an idea in every cell. Battery management system. And that's the connector for positive and negative. And then that's the water uh, inlet. All right, guys. That's all the, the fuse right there can easily pop this one right there let's check that one if it's still working good or what right there it's pretty much no indication of burn or whatever it's just all we need to do is recover the uh, recover the dead cell so as you can see we'll check the cover the cover is pretty much no history of no history of damage or burn so I'm happy with that it's just simply the previous owner accidentally hit something and then the uh, the sensor on the airbag as you can see the airbag deploy and there's a connection on that airbag that's sending uh, on the BMS once the sensor is activated on the airbag, it's automatically shut off the whole uh, lithium battery. That's for safety. That's the purpose of the uh, BMS. Without the BMS, the battery management system thing, when they got an accident, the battery is dangerous. It may cause whatever fire or whatever. So the, there's a wire from the airbag that I need to uh, reset that connected to the BMS to shut down in drain that's what happened here it's totally drain so now as we can see there's no any damage or whatever so let's see the state of charge of this uh, lithium battery but again guys be careful be careful working on that battery system because as you can see this is not a joke guys 300 I don't know if you guys can see that 339 volts but we'll check how much the battery all right by the way guys I have this uh, safety gloves here for high voltage I have the power extinguisher right there I have the sunglass or face mask for COVID or whatever all right let's see what we can do guys all right guys what i gonna do is using this tester i'm gonna simply check the voltage so we know if it's empty or not 